What's happening with it, man? Your boy 100, and we back in this. We back in this. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna watch my boy uh, Slim 400. If you don't know who Slim 400 is, um, you about to find out today. You about to find out today. His name is Slim 400, so you should know 400. You'll find, you'll find out, you'll find out, yeah. But he's talking about uh, on being power rule with the crypt dad. Family is main ops. Problems he created. Pyro's bloods, etc. etc. I kind of want to watch this and watch him talking about getting shot 11 times. And I kind of want to watch, hey, I don't, I don't know. Should I roll the dice? Nah, I ain't gonna watch my lad. Glad be copyright. I'm gonna watch this. From electric appliances that create a cooler environment as soon as you post a to play lighting up right really play. show off your merchandise. Energy. Cam Capone News. Shout out Cam Capone. All right, Slim 400. What's happening? Man, chilling. Came out of here, out of downtown LA. Yeah, that part. Yeah. You know, in a bitty. You know, getting it in. Stay working. I see you grinding. Yeah, man, got to. Since our last interview, you know, tours and had an album drop and everything. Oh, yeah. How's that, that going for that you? That was um, that was the bomb the last time we we seen each other. I was dropping the bomb thing. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't I didn't went across the world, promote it, market it. You know what I mean? Videos, probably like six videos, out of probably like what twelve songs or something. So I'm kind of probably seven videos. So a nigga really up, up. You know what I mean? Real so. Yeah. I see you working, man. That's what's up. Well, when we did the last interview. I got a lot of complaints in the comments <laughs> about my title. Everybody was telling me that I should be putting Pyru in there and not blood. And I thought about it and I was like, I was, I was going to change it, but yeah. I was like, well, he has a song called nothing but bloods. Yeah. So it can't be wrong. Yeah. So no, no, no. you ain't wrong at all. But in reality, if you separate it and bond it, it's nothing but Pyru and bond it. in a sense of Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? In L.A. and shit like that, you got Bloods. Inglewood, Bloods. You know what I mean? Certain other cities, Bloods. So, to separate it officially, you know what I mean? I'm from Treetop Pyro. So, yeah, it's Pyro this, Pyro that when it comes down to Slip 400. But for the most part, overall, you know what I mean? Like, globally, it's Blood. You know What's what I mean? the difference between a Blood and a Pyro? I mean, it's the section they come from, you feel me? Like, when you say Location. blood, like, we wearing red. You feel what I'm saying? Pyro, we wearing burgundy, for, for, for sure, for sure. But in reality, like, we all one, like, unit, you know what I mean? So, oh, it's all the same, but yeah. it's still kind of... Yeah, a twist to it. A little twist to it. That part. Ah, okay. Because, you know, they was getting on me in the comments. Yeah, they're going to they gonna bleed your ass. <laughs> Period. You know, I, I seen in the interview that your dad was a crip. Yeah. What was that like growing up with a with a dad I mean, as a crip and then you turning out to be a pyro? I feel for the most part, um, like I say, it just your area you you grew up in. You see what I'm saying? Your section you you come from, and you as a little child. Folks in the background don't care nothing about none of that. I'm pretty sure he told them, "Yeah, I'm gonna do this little interview thing right quick." They're like, "I right, bet." Background beating. Oh, three, four, five, twelve, whatever. You ain't knowing really what's going on. You feel me? In reality, so you just in that section. But as you grow, hang with these people that's around that that environment. Shit, you click. Yeah, you know I mean, you start rolling with them niggas and being down for what they down for. And for my pops to do what he did, he was just being around them niggas and doing what they was doing around that time. You hear me? Me around my generation, around my section around my source of people doing what we was doing. So that would kind of make the twist of us, but him being a grown man and on on, on the road and out of, out, of, out of state and out of the country, me and him, we really wasn't bumping shoulders and none of that shit because he was doing him. I'm still stuck in the streets and on spruce, you know what I'm saying, in the bitty. So it really wasn't too much to even go through or even talk about when it come out of my pops and me on that type of game making situation shit, you know what I mean? Did you guys ever have like a conversation about not not like in a negative way, but you know nah, what I'm saying? You just know, how but your, like your pops gonna always lace you, know. you like, hey, you know what's up, right? Or you know what's going on, right? Or you see what I've been showing you, right? Or you know what's up, right? Like them little key things to me is just like him speaking to his to his son or to his daughter in the sense of whatever he's trying to get across 
to us. So I got a sister. So I got me and my sister on my dad's side. My mom's side is me. So I was always going through certain things of my sister and my pops on that side. My mom's side was just the hood and my relatives and my cousins and shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I interviewed FBG Dutchie. He's a, a GD from Chicago. Yeah. And he was telling me that he has families that were ops, like direct ops, yeah. you know. So were there people who you you knew when you were in like in elementary school, maybe you might even been friends with, and now you're growing up and you guys are ops? Yeah, 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 for sure. Element, shit, not even elementary school, what's before that? Preschool, pre-K? Pre-K, people I was in pre-K with is, I grew up with, with my friends all the way up until 13, 14, 15, and they chose their side, I chose my side, now we ops type of shit. It's fam my family members, ops, all type of stuff. You have family members that are your ops? Yeah. yeah. How, how does that, I mean. How do it work? How does that work? I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. I mean, and then like we be at family unions with each other type shit like that. You guys don't? You guys Nah, don't he on that? my daddy's side, I don't really even. In my eyes, I don't even got no daddy, so you see what I'm saying? But I still look at him as my cousin type shit. You see what I'm saying? I got a couple cousins on his side that's with the ops type stuff. But I mean, it had been times where he didn't call me and something could have went left. If you catch my drift type stuff, and he, y'all lucky my little cousin with y'all, you get from right here type stuff. And it had been times I, vice versa now. You know what, you know. Me and you know who types it, you know what I'm saying, so. Did you have any situations? That's wild to me, dog. to, to, to. You got family, friends and family. You pick a side, they pick a side. Now it's, I hate these niggas. Hmm? That's why I ain't never joined them, bro. Cause y'all ain't about to tell me what I can do, who I can hang with. Y'all ain't about to tell me who I hate. You ain't about to tell me who I don't like. I already don't like niggas. I can pick who I don't like. I don't need you to tell me who I don't like. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight. Just like that. But I'm from Atlanta. It ain't the same as Chicago or LA. Like in LA, you might grow up and everybody you know rep this. Everybody, so you might you you grandfathered in. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different. Atlanta, it ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't as thick. It ain't as heavy. If you in, from Atlanta, you choose whatever, you, you chose it. Like, you got to think, uh, coming up, <clears throat> going through middle school, going through high school, I got people from the opposite side within, like, where I got shot at. You know what I mean? Like, like the niggas that shot me, whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? My main ops, <clears throat> I got an uncle from that hood. You know what I mean? I got a cousin from that hood. So... I might see him from time to time, or we might cross paths and say what's up, but it's like a, they know what's going on, I'm knowing what's going on. We really family, it is what it is, but like I'm in these streets, so I just say what's up and keep it pushing. That is the type of nigga I am, period. I love my family, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm, from, I'm from the section. So it kind of had a, did it have a split? I mean, like. Yeah, it's gonna be a split, because at the end of the day, it's like a, <clears throat> not he over here type shit, but it's like a, if. Yo folks that did something last night, and then you at grandma's house when I come through, I mean, you gonna have words about what the fuck your homeboys did last night. But if my homies and your homies ain't did shit last night or prior to the situation, when I see you, it's like, what's up, nigga? What's, what's bracking, yeah? What's going on, grandma? What's up, cousin? Woo. So he'll feel the tension, you hear me? Just like vice versa. I might feel it, because he on one a day. So that's his family shit, but. I don't really be too around niggas that's kind of like I family or not. You know? Bro, folks gotta move, bro. You out here, you got a face, you got a name, you out here riding good, living good, paper li looking good, bro. Get up out of there, bro. Hit Arizona or something, man. You know what I'm saying? Go to Seattle or something. <laughs> Get up out of there, big dog. You know what I mean? Like, I keep distance, social distance, <laughs> that part. Mm, sound much, huh? Well, I mean, for real. Was it like worse when you guys were younger? Nah, when you it's were just, younger, um, and... when it was young, I mean, when I was younger, shit, it was cool. You know what I mean? Because nigga was kind of like seeing eye to eye. You know what I mean? Nigga could cross the street. Niggas can cross the street. Now, older, doing, we doing rapid and et cetera and shit. Stay on y'all side. We're going to stay on our side. Niggas cross paths. 
<laughs> That's how it's gonna happen. Mm. So it's worse than now. Niggas can't even cross paths without the. You heard the sound effect. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. I don't know. Watch this other one too. We might double up. How long is how long is it? How long is it? It's already been ten minutes. I ain't gonna double up on you for the ten minutes. I'm gonna watch this video another time. I might just run it right back and then double drop on y'all, but I ain't gonna make this minute. I mean, this uh video too much longer. Uh, shout out Slim Four Hundred. Shout out Cam Capone News. Subscribe to them folks. Check out Slim Four Hundred Music. You know what I'm saying? And um, and the um, if you like this video, you want to see more things like it, leave a like for your boy. If you just want to support the channel, leave a like anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's just so I can get some more eyeballs, some more growth, some more algorithms, some more love. Um, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. Did you know Slim 400 was before this? Do you still not know who he is? Um, how you feel about Pyro Blood? Your family a different gang? How you feel about that? You know what I'm saying? And uh, subscribe to your boy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.